If you need to submit bug reports or change requests to your tech team so that they can improve your website, then you want to make sure that you are communicating very clearly and concisely. As we have all heard before, a picture is worth a thousand words. It's very it's almost impossible to see a picture and not understand what someone is trying to convey to you. What, th what is their meaning? The same can be said for videos. And the latest version of Snagit, which is a program by TechSmith, allows you to capture both pictures and video. I'm going to show you how this program works and uh, touch on some of the uh, beneficial features so that your own communication with your tech team will be improved whenever you need to communicate with them. The most powerful feature of Snagit is that it doesn't just capture pictures, it also allows you to edit them. And we'll take a look at how this works now. When you start up the program, this is the interface that you see. And I recommend uh, from the different capture profiles, uh, just select all in one. And then when you're ready, just click on that red record button. Click to capture. At this point, the program is asking me to click and drag to specify a region, an area that I'm interested in. So I will just uh, click and drag over the word Google. As soon as I release the mouse button, the program shows me this. And so uh, now I have my uh, image, and I can begin to edit this. And the default tool that uh, appears on Snagit is for drawing arrows. And so, uh, from A to B, click and drag, you can draw an arrow. I'm going to add some extra area to this image. And then uh, just one by one go through the different tools which are available. Uh, first is the selection tool, which allows me to make a selection. And then after that I can click and drag to move it. If I want uh, very careful positioning, then hold down shift and use your arrow keys. Maybe I'd like the E to be over here a little ways. The next tool ah. is the callout tool. And uh, you'll notice as I make uh, different selections, uh, I'm given a palette over here, uh, which allows me to choose from different options. I will make this kind of call out that looks just fine. Again, click and drag. Pretty much the entire uh, program of Snagit is all about just clicking and dragging. Uh, very few options require more than one or two clicks. Uh, they do this so that it is absolutely simple. Uh, they know that that benefits usability. And uh, the program has been designed to cater to 
people that need to work with images but don't want to deal with a really big aggressive learning curve for learning how to edit images. Uh, so uh, if images and pictures aren't your thing, uh, you have difficulty with that, that's okay. Snagit is super simple. Okay, so I've, I have my call out box. I got my cursor flashing over here. I can begin typing if I want. And of course, I can select free space over here and move this around for better positioning if I want. After I have the object selected, I can hold down shift for pixel precise uh, positioning. And if I double click on this, this editing menu here will appear which allows me to adjust even more options such as the uh, text color, the background color, text style, text size, etc. Play around with it, find out what you like best. Okay, proceeding back through the tools, we have arrows in a number of styles. Stamps. And of course, if you do anything that uh, you regard as a mistake or undesirable, just hold down Control and Z, as in Zebra. That is a shortcut for undoing your most recent change. Pen tool, very predictable. If you want to draw a straight line with the pen tool, hold down the shift key. Well, you click and drag. Next we have a tool for highlighting an area of the canvas. We'll take a look at how that looks. Just a moment ago I had clicked on a different object and when I did that my tool selection changed over here. So if the program ever appears to be running away with you and, and getting difficult to control then uh, look over to see if your drawing tool might have changed. Here's our tool for zooming in, zooming out. Again click and drag simple. We can also just left click or right click to change our zoom setting. Text tool. Click and drag first and then we have a text box which with a clear background by default. And of course if I want to change the details of this all I got to do is come back here and double click on it. 
Very simple. We also have lines and a variety of shapes. If you want to get a perfect circle or a perfect square, then hold down the shift key when, when you click and drag. Flood fill. and an eraser tool to undo changes that you did previously. That's about it. The majority of this program is just focused right on your drawing tools. done with your image uh, you might want to resave it or uh, you might want to change the uh, the size of it so to do that just click and drag super simple and when you're completely happy just go over here and save it I recommend using the dot PNG format uh, a ping graphic file is going to uh, do a really good job of keeping all your colors intact. Uh, if you save as JPEG, you might find that your image gets just a little bit blurry. If you save it as GIF, G-I-F, then it's going to have 256 colors maximum. So that would not be suitable for something where you needed to uh, have a picture uh, that has a high color depth. Low color depth, go with GIF. High color depth, go with PNG. And you can choose to save with or without <coughs> transparency. Without transparency just gives you a white background. and you're done. Go find your uh, program folder and you'll find the image that you just saved. Snagit can also be used to record video and it does a pretty good job of doing so. While recording video you can also record audio commentary so it's uh, ideal for providing uh, concise feedback to your team when it is done saving the video file it is going to be saved in a format that is highly compressed and so uh, that means that even if you record video for 10 minutes the file will s should still be small enough that you can share it with a colleague. In my next video I'll show you how to work with Snagit for recording a video capture.